Minecraft life hacks and tricks to prove they are 100% real and not trash clickbait. Watch until the end to change your life forever. You need to know this Minecraft travel tip. <laughs> Let's if hear you it. have soul speed on a pair of boots, okay. you can place a soul sand block uh -huh. against an edge, and then when you run over what? the soul what? sand and get Yo, soul speed, no, if you stay wait, on the edge, so your soul speed effect will not go away. This can be helpful for speedrunning <laughs> because it works in every version since I can the run around my world enchantment was super added. Fast. So to test this, we're first going to need that soul speed enchantment. So let's chuck down an anvil, open this boy up. We're going to need some booties. I got some diamond ones right here. You can use any type of boots. Then we need our soul speed 3 enchantment book, and that'll give us some soul speed 3 boots. Now, according to the video, basically we need to place some soul soil down on the edge of a block and have a super long pathway. It can't be ragged terrain. Let's build this up a few blocks in the sky here, guys, and then I'm just going to use some commands to make a super long path. All right, we're going to fly straight in that direction. All right, there we go. Slash, slash, set stone. Boom, we've got ourselves a super long path here, guys. The question is, guys, will the effect actually last all the way down? Chuck on these soul seed boots. We're going to switch into survival mode. I want to see whether it's legit here, too. All right, we're going to get right on the edge. All right, I've got the effect. Go! <laughs> I think it's working, guys. Look at that. Look at how fast I'm going. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, okay. <laughs> I accidentally let go of the forward button and, and I lost my effect. So this is the normal speed of sprinting. And bang, boom, check it out. You can get super speed right on the edge of the block. Just make sure you don't accidentally fall off. And then, <laughs> if this isn't a life hack, I don't know what is. You can extinguish yourself in the nether using a splash water bottle. Wait, no, you can't. You got have water in the nether? Wait, what? It actually worked? But that's against Minecraft logic. If you don't know why this life hack is such a big deal, let me show you. Normally, if you are in the nether and you set yourself on fire, well, there is nothing you can do. You will just burn to death because if you chuck down a water bucket, poof, that water is going to evaporate because, well, this is literally the fire pit of hell. Except apparently in a splash water bottle. So I'm going to chuck down a cauldron and we can put in some water in this cauldron. This is the only way you can get water in the nether. And then apparently we're going to fill this glass bottle up, chuck down our brewing stand. And if we put a water bottle in here and put in some gunpowder, we're also going to need some blazer powder in order to get this brewing stand to work. All right, so this is brewing now, guys. This will give us our splash potion of water. Water in the nether should not exist. L look at it. It literally evaporates. Boom, boom, boom. It, it just evaporates into pure smoke as if this is going to work. All right, moment of truth. Let's grab our splash water bottle, switch into survival, jump in the fire, chuck it down. And boom, check that out. Not only did I put myself out of fire, but I put the fire out of fire. Oh my goodness, it actually works. Wait, he puts out the fire and opens the secret base and he can close it? <laughs> he didn't show us how to build it. Which means we're going to try and figure out how to make this work. Obviously, we're going to need our campfire and then we're going to build out a three by three hole here. And I'm thinking, oh, how deep will it have to be? Three deep, I think. Oh, I really hope I can get this to work. So we'll build this three deep like so. Then on the left and right hand sides here, guys, I want to place a staircase like that. One, two, three. It can be any block whatsoever. We'll do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three. If we place an observer facing upside down underneath this campfire so the arrow is going down, when we put out that campfire, it'll output a redstone signal. We want that to go into this sticky piston. Then we're going to place a block of redstone between these two blocks with the space underneath. We're going to have one redstone dust on this side and then a redstone repeater here on three ticks. Now, this is the tricky bit. Okay. And then we can place two sticky pistons right there. Wait, why didn't they activate? Huh, that's not going to work. Oh, I know what we can do. We can break out this block here, place down some redstone dust, okay? And then we'll place our two sticky pistons there and one sticky piston here. Perfect. All right, I hope this works. Let's go ahead. Now we're going to cover this all up with dirt. And now we're going to use a shovel to put out our campfire. Three, two, one, bang. Ha <laughs> ha, check it out, guys. It opened up this secret base here, and then you can dig this down as deep as you want. And then to close it back up again, we will light it up with our flint and steel. And boom, a secret base is hidden. <laughs> Look, I don't think your friends would ever find this secret base. All right, what are we doing here? Sticky piston, slime block, TNT. Activate both of those. Wait, is that bedrock? Did he just break the bedrock? Okay, no, this guy after him is going to test it and show that it is clickbait. All right, we got the TNT. We're putting a lever on the left hand side, then a redstone torch. And yeah, that bedrock is not breaking. It's invincible after all. What? No, it's not clickbait? Look, 
I get it. Technically, the second guy already proved that this is real and working, but I'm just having a hard time believing it. And if it is clickbait, I cannot let them get away with it. Then we're going to have an obsidian tad here, guys. One, two, three, four, five high. They had a sticky piston facing downwards, a slime block beneath here. And now we're going to test it out. So we've got our bedrock just there. Then we put our TNT on the right of that slime block above the bedrock. We put a lever on the left side of our piston here, guys. And then a redstone torch here. In three, two, one, activate the TNT. Yeah, no, nah, that is there's no way that is not working. I knew it, guys. Guys, there are probably so many kids who thought they would get bedrock this way. No, 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 no. We are not letting them get away with this. Let's go ahead and expose these guys. They didn't even try. I rewatched the video and it's pretty clear what's going on. And it all has to do with this block. Deep slate tiles. Or as they like to call it, bedrock. Now you're probably thinking, what? Well, basically, they just used a resource pack which would have changed one of the block's textures that can be blown up by TNT with bedrock. In this case, we're going to use deep slate tiles, and boom, our deep slate tiles looks just like bedrock, but you can see it is still our deep slate tiles. Now, we go ahead and place that there. We put together this wacky looking machine that actually does nothing. Put our lever there and our TNT. Oh, not our TNT. Our redstone torch, and now that TNT is going to blow up into a supposed bedrock block, but no! That is 100% deep slate, guys. Fake, false, all with a little bit of a swindling. So we've exposed them. Make sure to subscribe so together we can put an end to clickbait. Now what in the world is that contraption? A bunch of dispensers? Wait, why are we putting the wolf in there? Okay, we're taming him so he's our dog. But what exactly are we doing? Are those boots with Frostwalker enchantment? But you can't put armor on dogs, guys. What? This guy's dumb. Oh my goodness, this is about to be a big fail. Wait, is that a command? What does that do? Modified entity data of wolf? Wait, did he just pick up that armor? I mean, the Frostwalker boots have disappeared. They must have been picked up by that dog. Maybe something that Command did? Wait a minute, but it's got an enchantment. Are you telling me that not only can he wear the armor, but he can use enchantments too? No! Wait, what? That dog can walk on ice? Now that is a cool dog. That's practically a super dog. Grab ourselves some dispensers. One facing forward, one to the left, one to the right, all facing in this center block. And then they had one facing downwards. So to do that, we're just going to place a random block just there. Then we need to have our dispenser facing down like so. Then we can place those blocks back and get rid of that. Then this was all connected up with some redstone. Now, what I was confused about is why there are four dispensers when we only had frost walker boots, which makes me think that we could actually put a full set of armor onto our wolf, which if we can, would be awesome. Let's go ahead and spawn in our wolf. We'll tame it. Nope. Take two, spawn our wolf, tame him. All right, there we go. Best friends forever, I got that achievement. We're gonna chuck down our anvil and now we need to grab ourselves some boot, add on the Frost Walker enchantment book and that's gonna give us Frost Walker too. Now we're gonna put this in this dispenser here. Now I also wanna know whether we can put in armor on our dog in these other dispensers. They didn't show that in the video, but I think it would make sense. Now, here's the thing that apparently makes this all possible because right now if we hit that lever, yeah, the armor does not go on the wolf. However, in the TikTok that we just watched, they actually use some sort of funky command. Man. Question is, does that work? Let's try it out, guys. Now, I copied it down. If we open up our chat, we need to type in slash data space merge space entity space A with the squiggle around at the at symbol E open square bracket type equals wolf comma limit equals one comma distance equals dot dot four and then close square bracket then space then a curly bracket can with a capital C pick capital P up capital U and loot capital L with a colon 1B and then a closed squirrely bracket. Now I know that looks really wild, but let's hit enter. I don't know if that changed anything, but now let's go ahead, hit the lever one more time. Three, two, one. Okay, the armor hasn't popped out everywhere, guys. Let's go ahead and unsit our wolf. Okay, are these empty? The dispensers are empty. I think our wolf picked up the armor, but here's the moment of truth. Will he walk across water? Come over, Wolfie. Yeah! He's actually wearing the armor. We can't see it on him, but he must be wearing the armor. Otherwise, there is no way he would be able to get this Frost Walker enchantment like he's got here. And then I'm assuming he also has super health. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Netherite sword. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. I'm going to hit you a few times. I just need to prove you have armor. Let's go ahead and bang. All right, there we go. We can hit him literally with a Netherite sword. And normally, he should be dead about now because he is actually wearing a full diamond armor. But as you can see, he was, in fact, wearing that armor. Did I just kill a wolf to... Prove a TikTok. Now I feel like a monster. Okay. No, this is bad, guys. Now I'm feeling awful. A moment aside for our wolf. 
So you're telling me that you can build cactus flowers, but you can't even place flowers on cacti. Look, he's literally putting sand on top of his cactus. What in the world? Okay, what is he doing right now? Are those pink candles? Why is he putting pink candles on sand that doesn't look like a flower? That just looks stupid. Wait, yo. Oh my goodness, that is genius. They actually do look like flowers. I didn't think so at first, but this life hack is secretly genius because normally you can't place candles straight on top of cacti. Look at this. I click on it. Nah, nothing is happening. But if I put the sand block down on top of first, then I can place the candles on here. Just three like they did. Break out that sand block. The candles won't fall. And then I can place a cacti underneath. And that looks just like a cactus flower. That is genius. I mean, I don't know why you would want to do this, but if you wanted a flaming cactus flower, you could do that as well. And you can also do that using just one sand, place down one singular candle, and then use a flower pot, put a cactus in there. And that looks so cool. That's a really great decoration hack that I think will make your friends very jealous and definitely make them want to copy you. You can craft elytra? What? I thought the only way you could get elytra was from an end ship in an end city after beating the Ender Dragon, but apparently here with a leather tunic, some phantom membrane and string, you can actually craft one of these things. I mean, that makes sense. Phantom membranes can repair elytra. Oh boy, I am so excited. This is way easier than going to the end. I mean, after all, all you need is a leather tunic, some string, and you need to kill a few phantoms. We'll chuck these down on either side and... Ah, it's clickbait! My arm! It's like broken right there, guys. No! Okay, no. No! There are probably so many poor kids just like me who tried to do this and it didn't work and they had their hearts crushed. I refuse to let them get away with clickbait. We're going to expose these guys. They added a crafting recipe, they changed the code of Minecraft, and there is only one way you can do that, and that's by creating a custom data pack. If we open up chat and type in slash data pack space enable Elytra crafting, this is going to add the Elytra craft recipe into the game and now when we grab our silver leather tunic string and phantom membrane this is how they tricked all of us we can equip that and boom now for our next life hack guys we're actually all out of time so you have to watch the next video make sure to subscribe for that i'll see you in the next one until then flying ey stream out bye